All right, here we go, guys. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video showing you some of my climbing gear and uh, basically my little setup here. Um, starting over here, I got my three strand rope. I think it's about five eighths. Um, works pretty good when you're up in the tree and uh, you got somebody on the ground but they don't really know what they're doing so use that for a lot of uh, rigging. Um, I got my my little zip line set up here. Bunch of slings with some Omega carabiners. Uh, my climbing boots. Basically some beefy hiking boots. They got uh, steel shanks in the soles. My helmet. Now here's how I've been storing all my stuff. Uh, I bought these containers from Home Depot. They're waterproof, which is good. And uh, you can lock them too. And they got wheels on them. And they're pretty light, so basically what I've been doing is keeping my gear in two containers, one for rigging, one for climbing, and uh, I've been huffing them uh, in and out of the the truck, which is kind of a pain in the ass, but it's what I've been doing. Um, this is a 5 eighths loopy. Uh, that works with my pulleys. When I got my porter out at the bottom of the tree, and this is uh, a 10x, just a dead eye sling. Put that at the base of the tree, and then I use uh, loopies because they're easy to adjust. Uh, moving over here, this is uh, just a little toolbox that I keep with me. Keep all my chains and stuff like that, set of files, wrenches, or whatever. Uh, more slings, the webbing slings, I usually keep three or four of those on me all the time, they're good for redirects or whatever. Uh, I just got this little setup here, this is just another flip line setup, uh, non-steel core, and uh, I think it's about 20 feet, and uh, that keeps it nice and tidy. Uh, moving on over here I got a little belt set up for if I'm doing some uh, dropping some trees with my wedges or whatever and uh, the accessory cord is for my hitchhiker I got my throw line here with bag my other throw line set up is right here and that has uh, that zing it line, it's the thinner line and I use that with my uh, big shot. Um, over here, kind of dark, see if I get a better angle at it. Over here, uh, 916 Husky. It was 200 feet, but it got hit by a chainsaw by my ground guy, so now I got 120 feet and 80 feet. Uh, another loopy here. Uh, this is a rope I just got right here. It's a 916 Atlas. This is 200 feet of rope, uh, which I find is good if you're using the porter app and you're doing a uh, you know, you do it a hundred foot pine tree, you can top the thing in uh, lower pieces and you still got enough rope. Versus uh, the three strand over here, I got 150 feet and uh, it, it's not going to be enough if you're trying to uh, have the guy at the bottom of the tree controlling what you're lowering. So usually I'm using this stuff when I'm controlling what I'm lowering from the tree. Uh, my climbing harness. Get it over here. Uh, I think it's the the Pumba or Coover or whatever. Um, and uh, 
I put a set of suspenders on the Weaver suspenders. I got my uh, little Medi pack here. Look, I cut myself. Now I use this. This guy right here, because uh, I pretty much do all uh, single rope SRT, and uh, so if I need to get get the line nice and taut while I'm in the tree or uh, coming back from the limb block or whatever, this is my uh, three to one setup. Um, little hand saw. This is just a cheapo, but I don't use it that much. And I got the uh, Weaver leather pouch to hold the saw. The stock one that came with it was junk. Okay, what else we got here? These are my climbing lines. Uh, they are both uh, this is Blue Streak Samson. I think it's their uh, 16 strand. And uh, that's like a hundred and something, 120. This one here is 150, which is usually good if I'm doing a hardwood type tree and I zing my line up there and attach it at the base and I can climb up the tree with that. Uh, here is my climb, my basic climbing setup. It's the hitchhiker. And uh, it works pretty good. A little bit of wear right here on it, but other than that, I like it. It's good for uh, when I get my rope walking set up going here, which basically my setup is I put this, this guy around my shoulders, clip in with this carabiner, and I got the Haas... Uh, what is the knee ascender they call it and I think this is here with the CMI foot ascender so this goes on my right foot this goes on my left foot and attaches to my hitchhiker it works pretty good um, over here I got the uh, I got the uh, steel core line I think it's 12 feet good for uh, I do a lot of pine removals so this is, this goes with me everywhere most of the time. Now for my spikes, I got the Climb, climb Right Ultralights, um, the aluminum. They're pretty decent, uh, semi-comfortable. What I usually do is I wear like soccer type socks that come right up to my knees, go and I double up on my socks to protect my uh, legs a, a little bit more from any chafing, especially if I'm in the tree for a few hours. Uh, it's just some hard hats for the guys down below. Another uh, steel core foot blind in case I slip with the saw and I need a backup or if the other one gets worn out or whatever. And. Uh, that's basically it. That's how I store my stuff. I put them in these tops here and move them around and uh, I keep slowly accumulating more rigging equipment especially uh, and upgrading stuff as I go. Like I'd like to get a better climbing harness eventually and uh, I'd like to get a bull rope set up for like a three quarter inch rigging set up so I can do some heavy rigging and get myself something better than a, a porter app um, but uh, I'd like to get a GRC um, eventually but gotta have the jobs for that but uh, that's basically it that's my setup and how I store it and I figured I'd post that on YouTube so so people can see alright be safe